Uh, yeah, so our first question is, how did we decide on what college to go to? And this came from Annalise Dance, 247. Um, so I chose based off of, first I thought about if I wanted to commute or if I wanted to dorm. Um, and originally I was just going to commute, so I ended up looking at colleges near me and then if there are any relatives I could live with that I was going to commute from, I guess. So I looked in Georgia at a couple of colleges, and then I looked, um, I'm from Connecticut originally, right on the border of Massachusetts, so I ended up looking at some of the schools nearby there, and then decided not going to Georgia, because <laughs> can't leave the social life of all my friends. Um, but then I really kind of narrowed it down. I'm from a small town. Some of the colleges in Connecticut that I looked at were larger, so I basically just love that smaller feel, and I didn't want to get lost at school. So <laughs> that was a good starting point. And then from there, I just, I don't know, I just kind of looked around. Um, you can kind of feel it if you tour the campus, and that's where I felt like it was pretty. I could see myself enjoying the campus green, because Westfield has a really cool campus green. Um, and it helped that I saw the campus in the in the spring, so mm -hmm. everyone was outside and yeah. playing on the green, and I think there was cornhole going on. And some... Did you commute? I, I didn't end up uh, commuting, did actually. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> no. So I did choose base off of if I was going to commute, but then I ended up dorming anyways. Um, Always so. a nice choice. Yeah, it was. It's like I, a good experience. Yeah. And that's all my weekends, too, right? Yeah. yeah, and that's what everybody told me. They were like, just just try dorming for a year, and then I could go from there. So I decided to do that. Ended up dorming all four years. Um, but it was nice that I was close to home because I did go whenever I needed. I could switch out my summer clothes and winter clothes easily. <laughs> Free laundry. <laughs> Free laundry. Get some food while I'm home. So Non-cat food. Yeah. Also, I cat. Said no, cat food. <laughs> I heard cat food too. Yeah. Cat, cat, cat food. No, not like, cat food. Same thing. <laughs> I was like, what a champagne. Yeah, Some ways. Yeah. <laughs> food do you guys get? <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> you got dog food, right? <laughs> I went from the table. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was my uh, yeah, I think, way to uh, pick. Campus tours. We talked about. I think was it last podcast? One of the podcasts we talked about campus visiting. Yeah. And uh, that, for me, was such a huge eye-opener. And, and we also talked about having the ability to use a virtual reality headset or just like even a virtual tour and clicking around. Um, because it is so important that you see it and you actually, as you mentioned, you feel like, hey, I could see myself here. Mm -hmm. um, and that was, for me, uh, with my cousin joining a bunch of his college campus tours because he was a year ahead of me. And when I went to Champlain, I was like, this is the town. This is everything I like, a nice small campus. Uh, definitely not going to get lost there. Uh, and so for me, like the, the campus tours was a, a huge, huge thing. Um, but there's also a, a bunch of other factors that come into it too. Um, and I am notorious for bringing it up on the podcast about spreadsheets. Um, <laughs> spreadsheets and uh, just having a plan, seeing what you are comparing and contrasting. Uh, College Express has a college compare tool that you can use. Sweet plug. Um, yes. <laughs> So we also have a spreadsheet. We also we also have a spreadsheet that you can use as well too. That's on a, one of the articles. So, yeah. Uh, feel free to use those resources because it comes down. You can actually compare the financial costs. You can compare what sports and activities are there. You can compare location based if you want to go home and travel. Um, and then I think from seeing it from that bigger picture, you get an idea of this fits on paper, but do I fit there? Yeah. And that's where the college campus tours come into play. Um, also, money is a huge factor too, so you might fall in love with something and not be able to go there, which is a bummer. Um, and we will go into some financial aid stuff at the end of this podcast, but um, just keep that in mind as you're looking and trying to find the right fit for you. And um, yeah, I think that's a, a big thing. Uh, you also mentioned, uh, which jogged my memory, about friends and going away from your friends and trying to figure that out. Um, 
for me, that was a thing too. I wanted to go away, but I wanted to be far enough away that my parents couldn't come in uh, and just be like, hey, how's it going? Uh, which now is uh, a reality of my life because uh, I live 20 minutes from my parents and 10 minutes from my in-laws. So now is terrible. <laughs> I hope you guys don't want to. <laughs> But uh, I ended up going to Vermont, which was ended up being three and a half-ish hours from where I grew up, and that was perfect. Uh, I was able to come back on long weekends if I wanted to for coming home for vacations and whatnot. It was really easy. I didn't have to buy a plane ticket. didn't have to figure any of that stuff out. Um, so location-wise uh, was, was a big deal to me for college, too. Um, yeah, I mean, also, the thing that I took into account, which I completely forgot, was I didn't go to a Georgia school because that was too far from Connecticut, but one of the schools I was contemplating was a school that I, I think everyone in my high school went to because mm-hmm. it was like the default, and I did look at it, and I was considering it, but I chose Westfield because it was, you know, a couple people from my hometown went there. I didn't know a couple familiar faces, but it wasn't everyone. I could still make new friends, and... You know, coming from a small town where everybody knows everybody's business, I didn't need that at yeah. the college of my entire high school. So, so it was comfort, but not. I did the opposite of that. I had gone to the same school for six years. It was a six-year school. I didn't get it back twice. Um, but it was a six-year school. I had known the same people for all six years. And I was like, love you all. I'm done. And I needed to go. Like, I felt... Explore. Yeah. To me, I felt like I was kind of in a box where... I, a lot of people I felt looked at me the same way that I had been that I was when I was 13 and I was 18 now and I was an entirely different person and I said I want to be able to showcase this new me I want to be able to explore who I am define who I am now rather than who I was um, six years ago so for me it was a really big deal for to go someplace that no one else went and um, at a lot of like my top two schools no one from my high school is going to um, and I think I've mentioned this before one girl that I went to high school with was actually in Burlington and I didn't run into her except for one time senior year and then I ran into her again at the reunion and she hugged me and I'm like we didn't talk ever (laughs) 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 she just gave me a huge hug and I'm like ah Um, see I was the same way I didn't want to go to a school with people I went to high school with I was like at that point where I needed to separate from them and they were all going I, mean, I, we, I went to school in Mass. They were all going up north to like New Hampshire. Yep. So I, I was like, I'll go south. <laughs> go to Rhode Island. Um, and I think there was like one girl from my high school who went to URI too. And I never saw her. Never yep. talked to her. I think like I saw her once and she's like, oh, we have to catch up. I'm like, sure. <laughs> sure we do. <laughs> never saw her supposed. again. But going back to also like location. Because um, I was between two schools my senior year, UMaine and URI, and they're pretty much the same school. The only difference is, like, location. Like, they're both even, like, two hours from my house. Yeah. Like, one's right on the border of Canada, the other one's on the ocean. So, um, it came down to me revisiting the school, because I'd already been to both of them at least once. Mm-hmm. So, I went back for Accepted Students Day in April, and when I went to UMaine, it was still like 20 degrees and foggy and gross out it was a beautiful campus but it was very cold and there's not much around Orno Maine Canada's like maybe like an hour from the school but there's still not much over the border when you get to to Canada further (laughs) yeah and then um you're right it was like you know a sunny beautiful day and then I went to the beach after and the beaches there are all beautiful and so I was like, I shouldn't be making my college decision based on this, the fact that it's by the beach. But I'm like, both schools have what I want for yeah. my program. Like, that, it's just going to be a matter of which school. And that's what it comes like, down to when over. you're looking at similar schools, especially. Yeah. Um, Location is really important, but also what's important is the academics. Because, yeah, you know, majors, you learn yeah. stuff there. Is that important? Uh, kind of, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um, one of the things that I loved about Champlain was I got to go to this conference they had. It was called the Young Writers Conference. And Jim Eliphant, shout out to you. It was probably the reason I went to Champlain uh, in the end because I got to take little seminars with different faculty members who taught in the writing program at Champlain. And I was like, this is amazing. I want to take classes with these professors. I really enjoyed learning from them, talking to them. Uh, they brought in other speakers from the area, different writers from the area. 
to talk to us, to teach us different things. And I said, these are the opportunities that I'm going to have. Perfect. Put me here. Um, and that ended up, I think, being the tiebreaker um, between several, a couple of other colleges that were pretty similar with academics. I was like, well, I could get a good education here, here, here. But I really like the professors here. Um, and I liked the small class sizes. I liked the fact that it was a smaller school. And these are all factors that you want to bring into it. So a lot of people will want that sort of larger, like, I can disappear in the lecture hall kind of thing. Other people will like that smaller. We had, I don't think I ever had a lecture at Champlain. It was all discussion-based. Yeah. Um, and I really liked that, being able to share my opinions, read different things. And How many were your classes? People. Um, some were a small. I had one class that was six people. How Two many? classes that were six people. <laughs> no yeah. pressure. Yeah, the Better raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that was, what, it was my copy editing class, and they almost didn't offer it, but I was like, I need this. <laughs> and a couple of the people were like, we need this. So they gave it to us. And then um, I think my largest class was maybe 20. 20 something maybe like 25 28 and that so was like went, one class I went to a big school so like my small class was like 20 people yeah and then the big class I had lectures yeah but I, I also like <laughs> I liked getting lost in the yeah lectures. See, I liked being in the big different people <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, yeah, don't just consider, like, people... Oh, and plus, people will tell you different things, like, you should go to lecture schools. If that's not how you learn, if you're a more visual-based person, find a school that's going to teach you visually or have options for you to learn visually and look for professors within that school that teach the ways that you want to learn uh, because that's going to be very important to your education, which college is kind of about. Mm -hmm. Even um, going off of that, too, for me, having the night over, um, yeah. that's a huge deal because you get to go there and actually live with other students that are currently going to the school. And then if those students, by chance, are into the same stuff that you are, um, they're gonna show you around the town, they're gonna show you around that, that those things click with you, and you might get introduced as a pro <laughs> some professor too. Um, so while you're going on these tours, they'll be like, oh, you're into web design, let me introduce you to Mr. Frank Catabatchel. Um And then you'll meet Frank and, you know. Is that a real name? Stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Frank's written a bunch of books in the web community. So oh, I'm sorry I haven't read Frank. those yet. Um, so yeah, it, it's a great opportunity to go there, live in the dorm, live in the city, go to a class if you really want to. Uh, my friend Bobby, when he came up to visit me, didn't really officially have an overnight thing. I was like, hey, I want to just like come up and hang out. I was like, cool. So I figured, hey, he's coming up to party, <laughs> uh, which we did. But then the next morning, he came to class with me, which was strange. Uh, <laughs> Email the professor uh, if you're going to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I did make sure uh, that was fine. And uh, it was very interesting because he had never gone to college before. You know, like throw up right now. Um, <laughs> You're having a day, uh, aren't you? So, <laughs> so um, he had never been to college before, first time on campus. He got to meet a bunch of different people. He ended up going to UMass Lowell, yes. and um, he graduated a year after we did, but he also switched majors, too. Um, so, yeah, take, take the opportunities that you have to get on campus. And, again, if you can't physically make it to the campus, take a virtual tour. Yeah. Um, and just kind of look around and see. And if you can interact with people, like, great, great living in the 2019s because you can now jump on and talk to people in an instant um, and really get connected to them before you even step foot on the campus, so. Uh, oh, go ahead. No. Um, <laughs> I was also going to say, like, going off of that, get yourself there to see it. Don't be against looking. Like, yep. the worst that's going to happen is you're going to say, mm, nope, not for me. Because, fun little fact about me going to Westfield, it, I think maybe my sophomore year in high school, my mom drove myself and my best friend up to Westfield and was like, there's this cool college, it's like a half hour away, you could commute, at the time I thought I was going to, and she drove us there and she's like, yeah, and I think the mascot's an owl, and I was like, no, I'm not going to a school where the mascot's an owl, what am I going to say? Hoot, hoot, like, so cool. <laughs> and I was like, nope, not going to do Westfield, don't want any part of it, not even going to look at it. Well, three years later, and as she I'm was applying to colleges, <laughs> I was, hoot, hoot, <laughs> there's a lot of owls. There's a lot of owl pride here. Yeah. I flew the nest, so. <laughs> yep. Yep. Don't so, you have a bunch of, like, owl... Oh, now, Stuff now. all about <laughs> It just happens. But, um, I mean, 
take your the mascot time becomes you. When it, you does. Go yeah. it does. Especially no. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alex is not a shape buddy. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> we were the Rams. I don't know. Owls are trendy, stuff. so yeah. you know, That's true. I hit it at the right point. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot of Ram stuff. Um, excuse me, I'm an Aries. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Ram. It is <laughs> all about the Rams, <laughs> not the team, though. Go Patriots! <laughs> but yeah, so definitely be a little bit more. Definitely like your campus. <laughs> yeah, and your your opinions could change from sophomore year in high school to even just junior, senior. Yeah, revisit the campus, yeah. and that's and that's yeah. important if you can again. But um, even. Um, just getting into it, college fairs too will give you a ton of information, um, and it, that goes back to the spreadsheet thing of being able to look at all the pamphlets and be like, <laughs> "Yeah, spreadsheets." <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, if you if you're into that, <laughs> he'll send you a spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will. Um, I want to pull from your point about your friend coming to visit you on campus. Yeah, because there are flying programs, there are stayover programs. Um, sometimes those cost money. Sometimes the colleges will offer money for you to come mm-hmm. to them. Um, because they want you to apply, they want you to go there, and if that's it's going to help you, like they they have options available. But if you don't know how to find those, or you're not interested in those, do go visit friends on college campuses, like upperclassmen friends who've already graduated, and you're like, oh, you go to this school I've never heard of. Can I come up for a couple of days and check it out? Um, we've mentioned before in the past that sometimes you get days off from school to go visit okay. colleges. So say so like, oh, I'm going to visit Westfield State. No, it's just Westfield. No, it's Westfield. Oh, Westfield State. State. Okay. <laughs> go out. I was up at Westfield. So I'm going to go to Westfield State for a, a stayover program, and your school will be like, totally, go for it. And then you go and you sit mm-hmm. in on class, and you get to see what the environment's like, and it's less expensive because you don't have to pay for that kind of thing. You're going to visit your friend, um, mm-hmm. so that can be pretty fun. You can do those over breaks, too, if you want to go to a bunch of different schools. And if you do it with a friend, you get a real student feel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, like, it's more personal. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. You can get the tours from the campus are great, but nothing beats the personal touches of, like, yeah, this the pizza's really good, but, like, there's also a Mexican place on the other side of campus. That's where everybody goes when, like... You want to put Mexican on your pizza? Mexican <laughs> like mayo. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like and then, you get those little touches. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree, and I think like actually following someone throughout the day and like seeing you know what they do when they wake up, like going to the dining hall, experience that if you yeah. can go with them to the dining hall because that's very different. Yeah. And the food is not very good. Sometimes it's kibble. <laughs> so you gotta experience that yeah. and then go into class because classes in college are very different yeah. than high school and when you're gonna fit your nap in that's you gotta true. find Netflix yeah. that's um, something you do <laughs> another important college visit is the admitted students day uh, because if you would get accepted to the school you want to go to at least one of their accepted students days to meet the other people you're gonna be going to school with because um, as much as the people the students that already go to school there are your peers the people that are entering at the same year, year as you are, I don't want to say more importantly your peers, but you, they're going to be the first people you're interacting with on campus. Yeah, they're going to be in your uh, dorms and classes. Get a roommate. Yeah, I was just going to say, get yeah. a roommate. And get a feel for the if it's the environment that you want to be in. Because sometimes classes will change. Like Each class has a different vibe going on. So if yeah. the class that um, is coming in doesn't have the right vibe, they're like, oh, these are all party people and I don't want to do that, then you know ahead of time like that's you're going to be finding different people in that in those niches. Um, whereas you can go to a different school and be like, oh, everyone here is all about studying. Yes, that's totally me. Um. <laughs> but you? <laughs> Maybe you're a party person. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe you're both. Maybe you yeah. want a nap one day. Maybe you want to party the next. That's not wrong. And study in between. <laughs> and maybe there's a college and with the vibe just too. like that. <laughs> um, also... Well, there was a trend with me, but also I would say think about the program you want to do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for academics because no surprise, I changed that too, And but I chose Westfield also because they were a teaching college. Like, they're known for all of their education majors. I think they're sec- like the other one is criminal justice, but I was like, I'm going to be a teacher. That's what I'm going to do. I want to do that. You're doing a great job at that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but, <laughs> people right now. <laughs> That's right. 
You're my first classroom. Um, <laughs> no, so that was what I thought I was going to do, and that helped me ch- narrow it down, I guess, from the hundreds and thousands of colleges you can choose. But then I just switched my major to communication, yeah, and it's fine. Yeah, it's, uh, but... like, vice versa of that, too, is if um, I mentioned financial and having issues getting into a school, and if you want to really go to a school and you don't have the means to do so initially, go to a community college is perfectly acceptable and take all your gen cred first Mm -hmm. and then transfer into the school and it's going to be a lot more manageable for you to pay off that way. Um, So just as a heads up, you might not be able to decide on the college. It's like, oh, this is the one I really want to go to, but I can't afford it. Just feel free to go for the one that's a little bit easier to pay off and then you're able to move in. Plus you can get more scholarship that way. True. Yeah. Especially if your grades were like not stellar in high school and you go to a community college, you get stellar grades there. You'll get merit scholarships plus there are scholarships that are specific to transfer students. More on that later when we get to financial aid for college. Also, you could do a transfer if, or not a transfer, well, you're going to transfer, but you could do a community <laughs> college um, if you don't know what four year school to do. Yep. If there's a close community college, it's cheaper to start there and transfer. To a school you really want to go to later on, then start at an expensive school and go to another expensive school. So, also don't count out trade schools in your area. Yeah. Because I mean, we talk a lot about four-year schools, but there's tons of great trades that you can do, and if that's what interests you, check that out. Don't let anyone tell you that you have to go to whatever four-year school if you're like, oh, I'd rather go to the Ben Franklin Institute and learn X Y Z and get a really good job with that. Trades make bank and they're in demand. <laughs> Sam's up. <laughs> and let's be honest, they usually, well, sometimes, usually, are less than four years. Yep. So if yeah, you, and right. if you're hands-on, sometimes it's just easier. 